Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Das P1's Air Gun Corner. And today we're going to have a look at a classic British air pistol. It was made in the 1970s through to the 80s and it is available in 177 and 22 calibre. And in fact, in 1973, I think to purchase one of these pistols, you'd have paid around £20. It was also quite a high powered air pistol and if kept in good condition, well serviced, well tuned, it could be near the legal limit of six foot pound. And the pistol is the BSA Scorpion. I think this one is a Mark II. So let's go and have a look at it. So here it is, there is some pitting, there is some rust visible, but it's a very old pistol. It's been lurking in a corner for quite a long time. And to be honest, it's probably been a little bit neglected. It is well used. It would need a real good bit of fettling. It needs some bluing again. Quite a lot of pitting and rust on there. I'm thinking this one's a Mark II. I think it's the Mark II because of the scope rails there. It says on here, BSA Guns Limited, England. And it says 0.22 cal there. BSA Scorpion. Comes with open sights. And I'm led to believe that these are very similar to what you might find on the BSA Meteor. Brake barrel. There should be a cocking aid, like a sleeve you can put over there. I've not got that because um, it can be quite tough to cock with a short barrel and other features nice safety switch there a very adjustable trigger you can make the action down there quite light nice ergonomic grip some nice checkering on there going on like I mentioned earlier on in its day it was quite a high powered pistol it'll put out about 400 feet per second in 2.2 it's quite heavy, it weighs in it just under three pound and the chamber and the barrel are also similar to the BSA Meteor. We've got some targets, got some Webley Mosquito 2.2 pellets. So let's have a look at her and see what she can do. I've brought a glove along today to help cocking. I don't want to get my hand blistered or marked. So the way I would break this would be, it's quite tough. It does need a good lubing. I have put some grease on there today. I just think the internals need a real good strip down and lubricating because it is pretty tough. Anyway, now it's cocked. Right, we've got a target set up and we won't be firing that far today with it being a pistol probably around 10 meters maximum just give you an idea i'll be firing from here to the target there show how to cock it that's the breach done and then quite tough i think that it does need that extra sleeve here more leverage. Put the pellet in. Take the safety off. It's good to go.
actually, safety first. Okay, well, again, I'm getting used to how I grip it, what I'm looking at. <laughs> uh, the first few shots, I was up here, I was a mile out. Um, I've managed just to get it down just by just getting familiar with open sights. And the last few shots are getting better. My first impressions of this pistol, it's good fun. I'm used to a scope and open sights just takes a bit of time getting used to it again so i don't think i'm going to adjust anything here i'm going to go and have 10 shots and see what we can do there's some good grouping going on there one two three four five six seven eight there's one way up here don't know what's happened there. We're just a tad high, all the time, a tad high, down the middle. We can adjust the elevation on this thumb screw here. Got windage on there. So we'll adjust that and see if we can just change things. I'm still firing a bit high, so what I might do You've got more adjustment on here. And by the looks of it, you can have a small V or a notch. I think we'll try with the notch. Okay, whatever adjustments I was making earlier wasn't altering this other than if I aim off or aim down I have tried it with a notch now rather than the little V I've gone back to the V shape notch because everything's way up here all the time and now I'm getting a bit more consistent final 10 shots Not having much luck here. I need to improve my target holding. It's pretty shabby. I've had a few issues with the trigger mechanism not quite being 100%. Uh, I've been looking down 
the barrel there and parts of the seal now is perishing but this is a classic British sprung 2-2 air pistol it really needs a good service it's clanging it's difficult to cock the linkages need lubricating and greasing uh, I'm struggling to set the sights, although it has got a bit better in general, the group in there. So that's my review of the BSA Scorpion Mark II. It's probably between 30 and 35 years of age. Not quite sure. But there you go, that is it. And if you like these videos, let me know. And I will make some more and we'll try and find if there's any more air guns lurking in corners. <laughs> <laughs>